Hey, this is Greg with JG and Sons Overhead Door. I am in the Service Spring uh, app on an Android phone, and I just want to give you guys a quick um, rundown on how to, to calculate your cable length on a high lift setup. So it doesn't really matter kind of what, you know, how many springs you have. It's, you know, defaulted to single spring assembly versus duplex or triplex, two springs on this, two inch springs, 10,000 cycles. Lift type, we're gonna go ahead and change it to high lift. And then we're gonna select our drum, which most cases for residential, we're gonna be looking at the 454, right? And uh, you know, here's your standard nine by seven. We could put it in the weight, we'll say it's 130 pounds. High lift, we'll go ahead and put in 14 inches here, done. It's gonna calculate out your springs for you. Um, you know, and this will give you 14,000 cycles. But what I want to show you here is this little blue circle with the eye in it next to drum. You go ahead and hit that. That's going to tell you um, what this drum is capable of. So the max weight is 550 pounds. You're going to be using an eighth inch uh, diameter cable. And here's your cable length formula. So floor to center shaft is a very critical measurement that I think a lot of people overlook. Um, anytime we're doing new door estimates, even residential, commercial, whatever, even if it's standard lift, we'll get the floor to center of shaft if the current setup is on torsion because that will tell you so much about the door and the track setup and the springs and all that. So floor to center of shaft plus 63 inches minus your high lift value. That is your formula to figure out your high lift. So you plug in those numbers, floor to center of shaft, add 63 inches, and then take away your high lift value.